texting of its Secretary General Bladen Zamande from Cabinet as a declaration of war. The party says that it will not remain silent in the face of corruption and state capture and reiterated its call for President Jacob Zuma to step down. Well, we speak now to SACP Second Deputy Secretary General Chris Matlauko. Thank you very much for joining us and welcome to the program. Thank you very much, Peter. An act of war, isn't that a bit extreme? Well, um, I mean, we think... Um, he, what happened today was, was, was uh, what we call a targeted uh, a withdrawal of the General Secretary of the Party. The General Secretary of the Party, uh, Dr. Blade, is no ordinary person. Uh, you know, he represents uh, almost 350,000 members of the party. He, and the SACP is in alliance with the ANC. So we would have expected uh, a courteous uh, engagement, uh, as it has been the protocols uh, of engaging the party and taking us through what the thinking um, is behind this. Um, so so uh, just this morning we received uh, the news and um, uh, how else can you describe it? Um, when, when somebody you think is very close to you shares your perspective, shares your strategy, he acts in a manner such as this one. So who's at war with the SACP? Is it the ANC or is it the president? Well, we don't want to, it's not the African National Congress, and that's why with the, we're calling it uh, by its name. It's a faction in the ANC, and unfortunately in this instance, it's uh, represented uh, by the highest person who's leading the African National Congress, who's the president. Um, and there's a sufficient proof in that direction that he's been leading a faction in the ANC. Um, we're also saying in our statement that um, this is also part of the marginalization of the ANC itself. And this will tarnish mm. the image of the ANC it's standing uh, okay. in society. But you do accept that a minister is appointed at the pleasure of the president. And therefore, if you displease the president by criticizing him, the president is well within his rights to say, listen, mate, how can you work for me when you spend half your time criticizing me? Well, um, that is also to be seen in the context of the electoral system that we have. We don't have a presidential uh, system where the president gets elected by himself or herself. Uh, we have a party electoral system where the party gets elected and therefore derives the mandate from the party. Uh, so we, we're expecting the president of the country in exercising his prerogative to be taking those things into consideration. They are an important part of the collective leadership for which the ANC is a part of. Uh, and we, we, okay. we were expecting that to be uh, also exercised. So, you know, the rationale that uh, is followed usually when somebody gets appointed a minister is that you expect them to do a certain job. Could it be that uh, Dr. Nzimande didn't do his job and he has more faith in Klingi Mkise? Well, uh, I mean, um, everything out there seems to suggest that uh, Dr. Nzimande did not do badly uh, in his portfolio. In fact, uh, he, all the indications are that uh, he has raised uh, the engagements and the standards uh, in, this, in, this, uh, in this terrain. Mm -hmm. uh, he was also well accepted uh, in the context of uh, higher education itself. So uh, it's not us who's saying that uh, Blade uh, is doing a good job, but um, there's appreciation outside mm -hmm. in society. And also we acknowledge uh, that even the president himself uh, has made the point mm -hmm. that uh, uh, Blade is one of the best serving ministers he's had. So you say it's an attack on the SACP, and yet Butimana Mela seems to have been promoted, some would say. We, we, we call it the targeted uh, attack, um, because if you look at it, there's a shifting of chairs. Uh, the only other person that has been ejected out of cabinet is Dr. Nzimande. Uh, there's been uh, the moving of chairs and moving of people from one portfolio to the other. Uh, and of course, uh, Putima Namela remains a deputy minister, only now he'd be responsible for uh, higher education. Um, we, we welcome that kind of move, but um, it's, it's, it's also a political uh, attempt to try and defocus us uh, so that we do not keep, as it were, our eyes on the ball. So what happens? You know, people have been putting this tripartite alliance and saying it's done, it's finished, it's really you're just flogging a dead horse. What's the view of the SACP today? Well, in the centenary year of uh, Owar Tambo, uh, it might just be 
a while to invoke some of the sentiments he had about the alliance. Uh, one of the first things he said about the alliance sometime in the 80s was that this alliance is not a paper alliance of leaders sitting in boardrooms and penning it out. It is an alliance forged in trenches of struggle, uh, nourished by the blood of Matthias and other things. And that's the context. And if we don't take that into account, and therefore the strategic objective of the advancement of the National mm. Democratic Revolution will elude all of us. Mm. If we're looking for formal uh, parameters for the alliance, we will not find it. Uh, so Newton's law of physics, I think, says that for every action, there's a reaction. Yeah. What's the reaction? What are you going to do about what's happened today? Well, the SCCP officials met today uh, and engaged uh, Dr. Plate uh, and Zuman. And one of the resolutions we came to is that we must have a broader engagement with the Politburo of the party and take the members of the party uh, into confidence regarding this matter. So uh, this coming Friday, we will be convening a PP where we will be placing this matter before the PP uh, and our direction will be derived from that. When did Dr. Nzamande find out about uh, this move? Actually, this morning when the news uh, had already uh, been sent out, when the news had uh, already been doing rounds in, in different platforms, uh, we were supposed to meet in an ordinary officials meeting uh, about 10, 15, 20 minutes before that uh, he broke the news to us. How's he feeling? Well, he's been strong, and mm. um, I mean, he's been taking the news in his stride. I think he, he's been long in this game, you know. Mm. He, he's been in the ANC for very many years. He's uh, also uh, served in Parliament in a previous stint, and uh, the party actually uh, said he must go back to Parliament uh, through a discussion that we had uh, with Jacob Zuma post uh, Polokwane, where there was an agreement that mm. uh, uh, played would, uh, would, 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 would serve, uh, and that would be the kind of uh, representation of the alliance, and therefore the party's voice would also be in, in the executive. All right, so that's where we're going to have to leave it. But thank you very much indeed, uh, Chris Matlako, the second deputy secretary general of the SACP. Hopefully we'll get another opportunity to talk to you after your next PB, just to see what resolutions you've come up with. Thanks so much for your time. Thank you very much, Peter. All right. Now. Yes.